What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be checking out Lethal Running. This is a game that's very much kind of like The Running Man. Effectively, the concept of this game is that it's a survival crafting RPG where you're inside a game show that takes place in a massive cordoned off city where everyone is a contestant and you make it to the top by murdering all the guys that are hunting you. And obviously, they're going to come in like a bunch of themes just like they did in The Running Man. There's going to be like clown killers. There's going to be like cyborg killers. There's going to be guys with minigun arms. And they are looking for you to kill you while they roll around the city. So anyways, let's go ahead and we'll start off the game and take a look at it. It's important to know this game is in beta right now, so the game is actively being worked on. However, if after watching this you wanted to get the game for yourself, you can look down below in the description. I'll have the relevant information for you next to all my social links so that you can grab it and like wishlist it or whatever it is you want to do with it. Uh, the game is a little early on right now and it definitely has some kind of jank and some lack of polish around the edges, but there is an attention to detail in like the character design and the amount of of like stats and things that are going into your character like nutrition and whatnot that really kind of intrigue me and so it seems like they're kind of taking a moonshot with this one and you know me I'm always a big fan of moonshots so let's go ahead and enter the game show Splattercat welcome to the lethal running training center here you're gonna learn the basics to defy our professional hunters when you're ready for the show take the teleporter to the stadium of glory so yeah, this is the first little starting area right here. As you can see, the lights follow us. We can talk to the guards if we want to. Honestly, the game really, really reminds me of old computer games from like the mid-90s in that like it has so much more like detail and so many moving parts for a game. It's very, very ambitious, And but along with that comes, you know, sort of like that lack of polish. Uh, let's see here. We've got a hunter badge on this side. All right, we'll pick that up. A hunter badge is basically anytime you kill somebody, they're going to drop a hunter's badge. You can take the hunter's badge, drop it off at the ATM, and you'll get a bunch of money and that money's gonna help you survive inside the dystopian city There's a little bit of cash over here. This is a character upgrade booth We could take a look at our physical condition and then we can implant ourselves with stims and cyberware and stuff like that to make ourselves a little bit stronger uh, so when you come on in here, you can take a look and we can upgrade like our firearm skill, we've got melee weapons, we've got our ability to weapon mod. Obviously some of these things have not been like implemented yet, but still we can make our immune system stronger so that we get sick less easily. We can make ourselves better at hacking and hypnotizing and perception, all this kind of random stuff. And every single one of these, you see what I mean? It kind of reminds me of Syndicate in a way, almost with the way that the game uses a lot of like neon menus with a ton of backstory in order to sort of like sink you into the universe and give you a feel for like the world that you're inhabiting it's definitely a game that like when I was testing it out prior to playing this video I sat around for a while just kind of sitting here just like reading stuff and just being like okay so that's this aspect of the world that's that aspect of the world gotcha uh, we can also whip out a weapon if we wanted to we can toggle running with right click as you can see, we can run around, but our stamina is going to drain while we do that, or we can walk. Our stamina only really restores itself if we if we stand still. Uh, over here, you've got the ability to cook and like warm yourself. There's going to be like weapons, and there's going to be pans. There's going to be like fatigue and resting. Uh, so you've got to make sure that you can get some sleep. So in order to do that, we just bam, we lay down like so. And as you can see, our fatigue meter is like totally tanked right now. But now it's all good. So now we're ready to rock. Seven hours and 14 minutes of rest. Down at the bottom of the screen, you're going to see a number of windows. We've got our hydration. We've got our hunger. We've got our wounds. We've got our overall life, which is kind of an aggregate of all of these things over here. We have our personal temperature, so we can't get too cold. We can't get too warm. We have any diseases we may be infected with. And of course, if we end up in a radioactive area, there's our radiation, kind of our Geiger counter, I guess. Uh, let's take a look around and see if we can get out of here, shall we? All right, so down to the south, there's going to be a gate. We can walk on through that, and that's going to make us an entrant into the contest. I still haven't completely and totally figured out like how to kill people without consequences. So at the end of the day, you're looking for likes, and you're looking for dislikes. As you kill the big baddies, you're going to get more likes. And if you kill innocent people or people like unsolicited, you're going to get negative likes. And people aren't going to like you. And really the prices of the game and the way that you can barter and haggle with other people inside of the game. And basically your equity in getting people to behave in a way you want them to behave is how well you are liked or how well you are loved inside of the contest. If people know that you're somebody they can trust and that you only go after bad guys, then they're going to be more likely to kind of cooperate with you and help you out with trades and items, sort of Hunger game style gifts. If you have like a really bad reputation as just like being a psychotic murderer who kills everybody around him your benefit is that you can loot 
everything in this game. Every single character you see in this game has a full loadout and like a full inventory. You'll have tons of extra loot and tons of extra gear, but other people are obviously going to be very, very, very hesitant to like barter or trade with you because they don't know if they're next. Let's teleport on in. So here's the city district right here. Our goal is to make it up to here. And we are all the way down at the bottom inside of the training center. So we can go to sector 6 Five, seven. Apparently it is 16 to 20 degrees Celsius right there. The teleporter is open, so we're good to go. Esteemed citizens of all statuses, the PXL Broadcasting Union, the Board of Perpetual Entertainment are delighted to welcome you all on this magnificent evening to a brand new shiny episode of Lethal Running. Tonight we have a new star shooting up on the horizon, a courageous rookie hoping to join the ranks of heroes, a runner as tenacious and resourceful as you could ever wish for. Welcome with me, my fellow citizens, the illustrious, the relentless, the incredible Splattercat. Oh, I like it when people say nice things about me. Huzzah. It's definitely got like a mid-90s video game vibe to it that I actually super dig. Kind of a Smash TV, everybody's hyped about all the murder that's about to take place vibe that just really kind of sells the atmosphere of the game. So here we are in the first district. Uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to put on my head torch if I can. That way we've got a flashlight, so now we can see a little bit better. That's a video bot right there. We're armed only with a baseball bat for the moment. Uh, we're, I don't think there's any hunters on the map. If there's hunters on the map, it gives you a little notification over here. That means people are actively looking for you, and they're actively trying to take you out. The teleporter to the next district is right there. We've got a vending machine on this side. There's a military ration, there's a trauma med pack, and there's a Strexo energy drink. I'm going to buy the military ration, I think. Oh, never mind. It took all my money away. Okay, so now that we're in, it took away all my money. Fair enough. Uh, it does say that I have hunter tokens from my previous test play. I'm going to see if it lets me turn those in. No hunter badges. Okay, well, I've killed two hunters then. My overall stats, I guess. Uh, that's a big, giant, mutated rat right there. I suggest we smack it in the face and murder it. That's my goal. Uh, one thing that's a little bit weird about this game that you're going to take some getting used to, uh, your swing is this little crosshair right here next to the mouse. So, like, I know the mouse will be in this direction. Other games, like, Enter the Gungeon or whatever have trained you that if you, like, swing in that direction, you'll hit it. But let's say you're, like, slightly low and you're swinging over here. It isn't based on the collision of your baseball bat. It's based on this little reticle right here. So if that little reticle is not on the enemy, sorry, bruh, you ain't landing a hit. And there's nobody around here that looks interesting to me. However, we might be able to do a little bit of scavenging just by taking a look around. Sometimes there's items and things laying all over the map, and you can just kind of, like, pick them up and have them. We got a camera over here. There's a, there's a bunch of rats over here. Definitely not in love with this situation. I'm also having trouble hitting them. There we go. We got him. We got him. All right, we can loot these right here. You can take the dead rat and you can eat it if you really, really need to for nutrition's sake. I would hold off on it, though, if you don't have to. We've killed off a bunch of big-ass rats. It looks like the starting zone doesn't really have anything for us. The last time I played through, I found a knife and I found a med pack. Who's this guy? Yeah, yeah, I know he's going to make it. It's not that. Yeah, well, what is it? Look. Adnan is my friend. He's a good friend, and I just never heard of somebody coming back from the fields or even just, like, call. Man, you're not falling for the conspiracy theories, are you? Evil shadowy forces spiriting away unsuspecting runners for sinister purposes, really? Nah, of course I'm not. How dumb is that? Still, it's strange. I'm gonna miss that guy. Alright, well, let's just go through the teleporter, then. Uh, let's get into the action here. We can go to the second district right here. I think it's a really, really good idea. Uh, our meters are ticking right now, and we need to find some stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, it's action time. Please welcome with a big applause, Freaking Bill. While running the L is a lifelong dream for plenty of citizens in the hopes of descending to the Elysian Fields with one single titanic effort, mercenaries have chosen to make their fortune with the opposite side, placing the comparatively safe regular income of a hunting contract over the high-risk, high-reward investment as a runner. After all, the mortality rate around hunters is 800% lower than runners. Or at least that's what the small print claims. Okay. Well, there's going to be bad guys on here, so we got to watch out for them. Uh, let me get my stamina back real fast. I'm just going to, like, rest right here real quick in case we have to engage with them, like, straight off the bat. They will actively come to find you, so watch out. Wasn't really trying to fight, like, a hundred rats right now. Was that him right there? I thought I saw somebody move into the shadows. One second. No, it's not. Okay. Let's keep a lookout. Do you want to talk? No talking. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. I understand. Strong, silent type. 
Here's our hunter turn in right here. So if we end up killing these two guys, we can turn that in and get some. Oh, there he is right there. All right. Oh, dude, he's got a kinetic. He's got a kinetic absorber, but we broke it on the first hit. Doesn't look like he's trying to fight us right now. Oh, he injected himself with something. Come on. Ow, 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 ay, 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 ay. I've been wounded badly, actually. There we go. He's down. He's down. He's down. We got 600 likes for murdering that dude. Hopefully the other hunter is not around. Let me see what he's got here. He's got a blunt knife. That's an upgrade. We'll take that. He's got a super pack M. We already have that. It's like a backpack, I guess. Uh, he's got a kinetic absorber. He's got a ballistic membrane. Ooh, he's got a three-slot armor hub. We'll take that. We've got a hunter badge right there, a flashbang cover that makes you Im immune to flashbangs. Kinetic Absorber, which protects you from being smacked in the face, and an anti-ballistic membrane. I'm also going to take his head pat. I'm going to take his head torch, too. All right, so let's dive into the menu. I'm going to equip this because the baseball bat... Yes, even the baseball bat has a giant storyline background you can look at, by the way. Uh, we've got a blunt knife over here, so it looks like it does two shots per second, and it does 58 damage compared to the 22 that we have on our other weapon. As far as armor goes, we have a two-slot armor hub that we're wearing right now. I'm going to put on the three-slot armor hub because that's going to allow us to slot three of these mods. So we have a kinetic absorber right now that's broken. We've got a new one right here that's going to give us more HP. We have an anti-ballistic membrane, which protects us from bullets, so we'll throw that in. And the good news is we've still got an extra slot left over. Uh, we've got food. Oh, no, we don't. Not really. Flashbang cover. Probably not a terrible idea to throw that on just in case. You can double click on any of these and it'll tell you exactly what it does. It took me a minute to like find that because I noticed the game had like a lot of items and I had no idea what most of them did. And so by double clicking, I was clicking around my inventory and did it on accident. I was like, oh, that's how you find out what all this stuff does. And from there, playing the game got a lot easier. From my observation right now, having played the game a bit, I do think that the combat needs a little bit of work when it comes to melee. It could feel a little bit smoother. It could feel a little bit more lithe. It could feel a little bit more like, you know, there, there are games out there that have very, very smooth top-down combat. So, you know, things like Enter the Gungeon, uh, things like Hyper Light Drifter, uh, where there's like very real dodge, block, parry, attack attack mechanics and I definitely think they should implement those here as of right now the only dodge we have is that little tiny thing right there and it's not much of a looker you know if you could get a little bit of dust being kicked up and it goes back a little bit further you know just stuff like that to make the whole thing seem a little bit smoother uh, we got some likes which is really really good we're no longer kind of like underwater as far as this is going I'm very tired okay it's not great Where's this other hunter at? He's not in here. I wonder... Let me get some money real fast, and then we'll check out some of these vending machines and see if maybe I can find a sleeping bag or something around. Oh, really? They rob you if you sleep in the streets. Interesting. I had no idea. All right. Fair enough. I wanted to give that... I wanted to give it a try just to see, like, what happens. It looks like they stole the stuff that was not equipped on me. Yeah, it looks like they just straight up robbed me while I was sleeping. Feels bad. Do I have any, like... I don't. I don't have any. I was, so I was looking around for, like, a trauma pack or something that I could use to get rid of these wounds down here. We're a little bit beat up right now. I could eat. We don't have any water, so unfortunately that's going to be a problem. I'd hesitate to, like, murder anybody just yet. Like, I'd really prefer not to. Like, a lot of people walking around will have, like, drinks and stuff. Did they steal my headlamp? They didn't steal my headlamp, so at least I can still see in the dark, so that's good. Uh, is that a sleeping bag over here? I'm going to take the sleeping bag. Oh, this person's trying to shiv me. Oof. People did not like that. People are deeply upset with me right now. They are not excited about the prospects of Splattercat being in contention right now. Let me get a little money right here for killing a hunter. We've got $174. All right, if we can find a vending machine that's got a med kit or something in it, that'd be great. That'd be like a really, really good start. I just don't know where to find it. Hey, we got a trauma med pack right here. All right, I'll take that. And then we've also got a small water bottle. I'll take that too because we need it. Uh, where's that trauma pack at? We're going to go ahead and use that. That's going to patch us up a little bit. We're not in great shape. I can drink some water. 
Unfortunately, it only filled me up like a little bit. So these these vessels right here, they actually they have a fill level. So if you find a large water bottle, you can drink from it multiple times before you get to do it again. I still got 70 bucks on me. It might be worth it to heal myself again. We're pretty beat up right now. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'd like to get my health back a little bit. Apparently, I, there's also a chance that I might have a disease right now. So, what disease I have, I don't know. Come on, Bill. Come on, Bill. Where are you going, bro? Oh, he's healing himself. Gotcha. All right, he's coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back. There we go. We dropped another one. That's going to give us a few more likes. People kind of on the fence about us right now. They aren't super sure if we're a good guy or a bad guy. He's got a hunter badge, though, so I'll take that. He's got another one of those. Kinetic absorber, ballistic membrane. I don't know if I can sell this stuff or do anything with any of this. We do have a crafting menu. I haven't really played around with it a whole bunch because you need crafting skill. And honestly, there's like a lot of things going on with this game, so it's easy to forget what you're working on. Doesn't look like we can search that hole right there. Let me go get my money real fast. Oh, apparently I'm super dehydrated right now. Why am I super dehydrated? That's not good. Is there like a water bottle or something around here? We can get an antique soda. We've got survival rations, trauma med packs. Let me see if I can find... Where was the where was the vending machine at? I'd like to see some iconography added to the map as well. Uh, so like little pink skulls that be put down here. Like it's got the teleporter marked, but I would like it if the thing over here was marked too. Go ahead and turn that in and get a little bit of cash right here. Sort of like set ourselves up a fuse box. What happens here? Oh, apparently I can use like my crafting skill to cut electrical wires right here. And I've got a 90% chance of shocking myself. And apparently I've got a chance of changing the charge level. We'll have to play around with that if I get a little bit better at crafting. But for right now, I need to track down some water. I'm not sure why my water skyrocketed. I'm a little bit concerned about it, in all honesty. It is degrading my health right now. Let me see if I can find some something to drink. Hey, we've got boiled water over here. I'll go ahead and buy, like, one of those. So let's go ahead and we'll get ourselves all nice and rehydrated here. There we go. So we're all fixed up there. I think I'd probably like to buy another one. Oh, it actually, it cycles. Okay, so different things go. We've got a beer right there, and then it looks like we've also got a med pack. I'll grab both of those, and let's move on to the next sector. I'm sort of wondering if my hydration is increasing like crazy because I'm running all the time. That seems like it might be the case. Or maybe it just goes up kind of rapidly. Who knows? I mean, people do need to drink a lot. Let's go ahead and wander around a little bit further. Let's go to the next zone, actually. I'm feeling pretty confident. We got 61 bucks left. We've killed a couple of hunters. Let's teleport through. It looks like we can go to a data center. Or we can go straight up to a passage. Looks like it's a little cold over there, though. We may have to find something to help us out with our overall warmth. All right, so we got a couple more mercenaries that are after us right now. We'll keep an eye out for them. I'm not really going to panic or worry about them, but... Maybe I'll use that med pack now. Might be a good idea. Hold on a second. Let me see. Med pack, you over here? There you are. Let's go ahead and use that and get ourselves back up. We got a dead rat right there. People do not like it when you eat rats. Let me tell you what. People are not super stoked about my proclivity for eating rats. So I guess I'm a rat eater now. People people don't like that. Can we do anything with the tree? Oh, apparently we can loot the tree for wood. All right. Well, apparently I have wood on me now. As per usual, I'm in a dangerous situation. And I'm rocking wood. Uh, we'll take this over here, and I don't see the bad guys around just yet. There's our teleporter. So if we need to get out of here, it's on that side. I honestly, can we make like a campfire or something out of this? The worst part is I think we just tanked all of our likes when, when we didn't even really need to. It doesn't look like it said the rat gave 20 nutrition. But I'm of the opinion that it may not. Are any of these houses, like, abandoned over here? All right, we need to sleep for a minute. All right, stamina's good to go. Uh, 3D printer, actually. So does the 3D printer, what does it do for me? We've got knives over here. It looks like we need wood and we need scrap. Looks like we can make ammo as well. We can get crafted bolts for, like, bows and things of that nature. We have flashbangs. I do think, so like this big pop-up menu right here, 
I feel like they could probably condense and fit all the information about what you're kind of like grabbing in that central area. This does seem a little cluttered to me. And so anyways, this pop-up window that you get is nice and everything, but I prefer that it be displayed like in the middle over here without like UI overlaying UI effect. Oh, a med pack. Hold on. What's this? Oh, a climate change web uh, med pack. Just in case we get like two, just in case. What does this do? Interesting. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I honestly have no clue. It looks like we access through these little squares right here, so some of them seem like they're blocked, and some of them seem like they have things that are in the way. It seems like these little dots right here are kind of like leading me towards something. Like they're maybe indicating like Minesweeper, how close we are. No! We'll log out real fast. Oh, we set off an alarm. Uh-oh, that's probably not good. An energy station? Oh, I can charge my... Yeah, dude, uh, charge my armor hub real fast. Get that all nice and patched up, dude, because my armor pack... Like, the armor hub is expected to like kind of run our shields and everything else. So I'm going to charge everything up real fast so that we have a full charge going. There we go. Perfect. Apparently, I'm very, very disliked. People are not a fan of your boy. Oh, it calls the hunters to you. Gotcha. All right, Ben. Let's do this thing. Look at that, Ben. You just got wrecked, bro. Oh, the other one's over here, too. All right. Well, let's take him out, too. I see no reason not to be efficient in the way that we murder the hunters. There we go. Both hunters are down. There's no hunters left, so we are free to kind of just, like, explore around here. I'm going to take his badge. And then what do you have over here? Let me see what you've got. You've got a head torch, super pack. No items, unfortunately. I was hoping that since we killed them quickly, we would be able to kind of, like, grab some of their stims or something on the way. But it's fine. It's no big deal. There's blood everywhere over here. Hey, a new runner's in town. You like birds? The big ones like vultures? Well, the last runner spent time in the wasteland, and I don't, didn't know how to find water, what the vultures enjoyed. Okay. I'm a pretty good scout. Listen up. Water puddles are often found near the bigger rocks, but it might not be very healthy to drink, so if you ain't got the skills to tell... Okay. Good to know. I do like how you kind of, like, uncover organic information about the game just by talking to people around town. Like, the game gives you, like, a crash course in, like, how to play it, but, like, there's a lot of things that are kind of, like, unexplained along the way that you're going to have to figure out. Apparently, I could pick up that light source. I got a flashbang cover over here. I don't really want it. I don't think it's a big deal. I guess I probably don't need my head torch on, right? Oh, my head torch isn't on. Fantastic. Good. I'm glad to see it. Dude, that's a really big rat. That's like a rat the size of a Rottweiler, dude. That's like an incredibly large rat. We've picked up some pretty good items from around here. I don't know if I can... What does Venus have to say? Another noob runner. Yeah, so? I always wonder how naive you folks are. In case you think of getting a nice tan in the wasteland but don't know where to find something to chew on, keep an eye out for cacti, the big ones. They're blue. They're stingy stings. Search your surroundings. Always a pleasure. All right, well, we learned something there. And this is where we came in from. I do like that they give me a little bit of fog of war so that I know, like, where I've been on the map and where I haven't been kind of interested in this big building right here. What's up with this giant building? Let me get some stamina back real quick. We haven't particular. Oh, you can't get in. Okay, never mind. Well, I guess that we're pretty much done here. I don't see a whole lot of things. Oh, there's upgrade stations. Hold on. Hold on. We got upgrade stations over here. All right, so it's going to cost us money in order to get better at stuff. So some of these I can upgrade, and some of these I cannot. Oh, it's because I haven't turned in my hunter tokens, that's why. I was going to say, it was saying that, like, I have this much, but I've spent that much. Apparently the game keeps a running tab of how much stuff you've had on you and how much you've spent along the way. If we can find a hunter console, and we can sell some of this stuff off, I feel like we'd be in better shape, but I don't know where a hunter console is at. 
Well, let's just go to the next sector. I don't see anything that I can spend my money on, or that I can spend my tokens on here, so... I think we should probably just, like, move. It looks like we have an industrial sector over here. It looks like it's temperate, so... I feel like it's a good idea. Uh, our AI aid is saying that it wants me to put a melee mod on our three-slot armor hub. It wants me to repair our kinetic absorber. It wants us to find an ATM to redeem hunter badges, find something to eat, and then talk to people. I like that, that it gives you, like, a little bit of kind of, like, a... A synopsis of what you should be working on especially since the game seems to have a lot of stuff and moving parts it can be kind of confusing when you first dive on in I do appreciate that uh, we got a few more hunters coming after us now I'm not that worried about it, though it's a dark area all right we're gonna need a we're gonna need a head torch here hold on I'm gonna drink this because we're thirsty that helped out a little bit I'm not hurt, but I don't have any food, so we're definitely got to figure out the food situation pretty soon. Uh, install another kinetic absorber onto my three-slot armor hub. Oh, you can only have one of each. They don't stack. Okay, that's good to know. All right. Well, let me put on my head torch real fast. So now we can see a little bit better. Got rats running around per usual. All right, kill the rats off. I find that it's best to like dash into the enemies because there's a delay on the swing so you gotta kinda like lunge for them. Our teleporter is reasonably close, we started out right next to it. Can't do anything with the tires over there, although I would recommend as you're playing the game that you definitely take a look around and try to interact with like all of the things. No talking. Alright, just to get this straight, you grilled her pet rat with a what? A high intensity tight band stimulated radiation emission. Don't you recognize a laser when you meet one? The rat certainly did. Were well, you fiddling with lasers anyways? I'm not fiddling. What rock have you been under? We're planning on licensing beam weapons for the L, and when they do, I'm going to be the first runner in history to burn a Charon's eyes out. Okay. Well, I was going to say, if the rats aren't bothering me, like, why bother? But they are bothering me now. Probably because I took a swing at them. I'll pick up the rat. Oh, there's no space for it. Never mind, we're full up. Okay, we're probably going to have to litter at some point and just get rid of some things in our inventory. What is this, a trap pack? All right, we'll drop you. I'm going to... Keep the boiled water. Drink that real fast and then we'll drop it. The small water bottle we can drop. We're not cold or anything right now, so I think we'll be all right. Oh, I'm super hungry at the moment. Okay. Apparently, we start losing health from hunger at, like, 50%. Uh, I'm gonna have to eat a rat, I think. Hold on. Back up. Where are the rats at? Where are my rats at, boys? Did I drop my head? I did. I dropped my head torch that was uh, illuminating my way. So, there you go. Our popularity was okay. We survived for four days, and we got some life coins and stuff. Uh, we died of starvation. It's going to give you a full readout of what ended up, like, killing you and causing problems at the end. And then you can take a look at, actually, your entire run timestamped and everything, too. So, like I said, like, the game definitely could use, like, a little bit of polish, for sure. But I like the core idea that they're playing around with. Uh, if they make the hunters a little bit more interesting, and, like, I, I do like the way that the AI in this game... I, I very much like the way that the AI goes through... And the AI kind of, like, picks things up, and, like, they find bottles, and they fill them with water, and they drink out of them. If you wound somebody, they'll run off to a vending machine if you let them, and they'll buy stims, and they'll heal themselves, and then come back for more. Like, I dig a lot of the aspects that the game has going for it, and it's in an early state right now, so I'm kind of excited to see what they do with it as time goes along. Uh, so anyways, this is Lethal Running. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile of find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. I'll be back tomorrow with something hot and fresh for you. Make sure you check out the Discord. Make sure you leave a like on the video. It helps me out. And that's all I got for you. Bye, everybody.